Yo, what's going on guys, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a camera shake effect in Roblox Studio. If you want more Roblox tutorials like this one, make sure you like and subscribe. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to Starter Character Scripts and insert a local script here. Uh, we can rename it whatever we want. I'm going to call it Camera Shake, and then we're going to go ahead and get started. So we're going to get the player, which is going to equal game.players, local player. And then we're going to get the camera, which is going to equal game.workspace.currentCamera. And then we're gonna create a function called shake camera. And we're gonna take in the duration or we're gonna take in the intensity and the duration. And then in here, we're just gonna get the shake start time. So this is the time that we start the, uh, to shake the camera. And then we'll go while tick minus shake start time is less than duration two. And then in here, we're gonna get the offset so shake offset which is going to equal vector 3.new math.random and then we're going to get the negative intensity and then the normal intensity and then we're going to divide that by something like 10,000 10, um it's just so that we can have decimals math.random doesn't return decimal decimal numbers but if we divide it by 10,000 or something then it will turn that into a decimal number for us to use so now we can just copy this over for every coordinate and that will be our shake offset and then we're gonna get the new rotation for the camera so this will be the rotation that the camera will be set to this is going to equal camera dot c frame times c frame dot angles and then we're just gonna put in every one of the shake offset numbers so we have shape shake offset dot x shake offset dot y and then shake offset dot z and then we're going to set the c frame of the camera so it goes camera dot c frame equals new rotation plus camera dot c frame dot p and then we're going to go ahead and wait so that um it doesn't crash our game or anything like that just so it'll wait one frame and then do this again well i'm just going to go down here and do wait two and then we'll just call the function here i'll do an intensity of 500 and a duration of like five or something just to see if it works so now if we hit play we wait two seconds and as you can see my camera starts shaking so obviously you can change the um intensity of it if you want it to be more uh shaky then you will make that number greater if you want it to be less uh intense then just lower it and then the duration whatever you set it to if you want to use this in your game um what i would probably do is i'd probably get like you know a remote event and then just like link it to the shake camera however you want to implement this into your game it'll work just fine all right that's it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching if you want more videos like this one make sure you like and subscribe and um join my roblox group with the link in the description and i will see you guys next time